Hello and welcome back to NAS Comparison. Today I want to talk about Synology Chat, the way to get all of your Synology NAS users talking together. Okay, well Synology Chat is another application that's part of DSM, the software on your Synology NAS. Now DSM 6.2 arrives with the latest version of Synology Chat, Synology Chat 2.0 which is equivocable to Skype. And what we're looking at today is one, how good it is, and two, how we can integrate all your users and all your information on that NAS together in that closed system. So let's make our way to the screen. Oh, and welcome back uh, the screen here. We're looking at the desktop interface of the 1618 Plus from Synology. It's their latest release, the six bay for home and business. Now this device, we will double check. We'll go, actually we'll go to this control panel just to give you some of the idea of the hardware. But again, as this is part of a series of videos, it is worth mentioning that it's going to be a bit more of an intro. I'll try and skip all of this for the later videos, but just to confirm, we are looking at the 1618, the Intel Atom Quad Core there at 2.1, and 4 gig of DDR4 memory. And we're going to keep the CPU and RAM monitor here on the side throughout, just so you can see how much system performance um, is affected by going through these applications. Although some apps will flick onto new tabs in our browser, so do bear that in mind. But... The first video we're going to look at today, we're going to take a quick look at Synology Chat. Now, Synology Chat is this application that lets uh, individual users and indeed users outside of the NAS communicate, collaborate, exchange files, uh, plan campaigns, do project work together. Um, now, all of the applications that we're going to talk about today, with the exception of two, are pretty much available on all currently available Synology NATs. The exceptions being um, active Backup, and there's Active Backup there on its myriad of different versions, and of course Synology's own Virtual Machine Manager, so do bear that in mind. But almost all the apps that we'll talk about are readily available on all the NASs, just double check with Synology in advance. But let's get Synology Chat up and running. So we've got the admin console and we've got the chat. Now the admin console you don't really have to spend too much time setting up because we've already set the unit up once. Now for the case of showing you how this application works, I have created a bunch of dummy users. So if we go into uh, the user account, as if I remember, if we go into the control panel, we look at the users and I haven't assigned these guys groups, but as you can see from the alphabet, these are the users that I've created. Uh, for the sake of a series of these videos. Now, Synology Chat, once you've got the console, this is where obviously we can configure um, guest management. This is people that live outside the NAS, if they can enter into the conversation. And it should be mentioned, there is a mobile application too uh, with Synology's live chat feature. Straight away, as you can see, this is the chat interface. Now, if you're using a desktop interface via a PC or a Mac, this is pretty much what you're going to see. But there are apps available for iOS and Android, so do check those out for your respective phones. Now, in here we've got an individual conversation that I set up earlier on. You can set up individual chat channels, and these conversations can, you know, you can pretty much, you've got carte blanche. Here's a conversation between uh, myself and Eddie the web guy manning one of these. Um, so, if we, for example, add, have a conversation here, and we'll start a new conversation. So we'll start a brand new one, we'll invite Alan and Betty, and if we'll start the conversation, and Alan and Betty are now part of this, and it will be a hi. Hey guys. Hit, hit, hit. Do forgive me, I'm typing one handed here. So we're going to leave that there in that chat window, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a couple more tabs just to show you the interface of what each individual user would see. Okay, so now we've opened up a separate tab in incognito here on the right hand side and we're going to log in as Alan. And I'm also going to type like a human being. And we're going to log in and open up the chat window now as Alan. Remove all of that, remove all of that, go in. Should be mentioned, it's exactly the same device we're working on here, you can tell from the IP. But this is a completely separate login here for Alan. So if we use the Alan login there, and here we have the chat window. On the right hand side is Alan, on the left hand side is the admin. As you can see, the chat notifications happened. And also if you've got the mobile application installed, you would have got that alert. So as you can see from the screen here, we'll get that moved up so it's visible. You can set this up so you can go I'm 
and the chat carries on. But it's what you can do beyond this is where things get interesting. Because if you click add, you can obviously upload a file directly from your localized machine, send it to the other user, but that user also ends up with the file on the NAND if they so choose. You can schedule a message so you can have messages happening over a certain rotational period. And of course, creating a poll, so we could say, best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, we could go with Leo. Can we all agree that Donatello is easily the best turtle? And of course, the other user here can vote on whichever one they want to go for. They can vote Leo. And again, this is going to be quite good for people that have got um, collaboration and team stuff they have to do together to reach decisions. Now, on top of this, you can synchronize and add stuff to a shared area. And in this shared area, you can share links, different file types, and deadlines and more. On top of that, you can add and remove users as you see fit. And you can also do it that certain files can only be seen by certain users. So we've already introduced these three people and we can introduce more. And again, the notifications tab and everything we can do, you can um, send the conversation to other users or open it up to more people as you go. And it's the idea that imagine having a business where you've got all your, your team members communicating, but you need all of that communication recorded. You need the files recorded. Maybe it's for due diligence, maybe it's for assignment of responsibility. Having an internal chat system on your NAS, given that most people use a NAS for the centralization of the data of their business, seems like a natural step. Because um, there are alternative means of communication. I know a lot of businesses still rely on Skype, but even Skype business is still going to be cloud-based. And if you've got a localized NAS, making sure that all communication and all files that are sent are recorded to the NAS is hugely advantageous. And I'm quite impressed that Synology have um, included this application. It has lots of things about it that are probably less enterprise. I mean, for example, here we are, I'm also dilly-dallying with uh, the idea of a calendar. So what happens here, we can send a file here. Um, next. It's something new. Oh, I miss having a caps lock. And there we go, we've now sent a file, and the file can be accepted here by Alan. Alan can accept the file, and it's now being saved locally, but also it can be saved to the NAS. You can choose which way you want to do that. Now again, you can react, you can forward it and um, create a sub-thread or a separate thread just on that uh, section thing alone. You can pin the message to make sure everyone gets it, or you can highlight the message to other users. Um, now, obviously, there's the stuff that you would expect from any chat application. You've got the stickers and the emojis and all that kind of stuff. So you can be quite creative in what you're doing. And at the same time, the admin who has created this group, and you can make sure that certain people can control the group and what can be done. If you move this over to the mobile application, which I'll do shortly, then you will be able to see that not only have you got a system of communication internally, but you can also talk externally using the chat application on your iOS or Android device. Heading back to the Synology chat live interface, we can see a few other little things about customization. If we head up here, we can see the fact that we can create tasks and assign it to the calendar application. There'll be more of that on the other video as well as the ability to launch other applications within this. So we can launch, for example, uh, Synology Moments. That'll open up a new tab. And then we can use that to find files and then send them over from here via links and indeed the files themselves onto Synology's own chat application. But we'll talk about that in the Moments video in a wee bit. Um, if we head over to the notifications, this is where we can find out more about stuff that's going on. And of course, here is where we can tinker with the way the device works. So in Synology Chat, we can obviously assign different photos for individual users in your team. And if we go back to the Synology user interface, we can not only create more users for chat, but also assign those users groups. So you've got tech, you've got sales, you've got guest, you've got client, you've got company that works. Um, heading back into the chat interface, we can obviously give everyone nicknames so they can don't have to use their own names. And of course, you can describe the user, add their individual emails for alerts, when they get notifications of emails and more, as well as more information about them and the interface. 
if we go into the notifications, obviously we can have it so that their, nest, uh, their desktop or their mobile can make noises and notifications to let them know. Um, of course, you've got the push notification. You will have to install this if you want chat to notify you over other things you're doing in your web browser. If you're using paired devices, obviously that isn't just like um, audio in and out, but more about mobile applications and more. Uh, this is how you pair it together. And finally, the integration with your chat is the means with which any um, events or deadlines or group activity that you create that's date specific, this is what you need to have ticked to make sure it gets added to your calendar in the Synology app. And remember, this is all internal network, no internet needed. So this can all be a closed system within your business. Next things, we can change the way the chat interface looks as well as changing individual wallpaper here on the side so you can have a completely bespoke chat experience and obviously you can upload your own images as you need. And again, we've got all the buttons here for adding more stuff and get notifications of scheduled stuff. Oh, obviously that's scheduled messages. We touched on that earlier on. And again, all the files that we've sent inside our own chat log, we can open up the individual conversations and see all the files that have been exchanged. So any files that have been exchanged, like the one I did earlier on, this was the calendar for NAS Compares, they are now there that we can keep them on record to access later on, which again, very handy indeed. The same goes with all the links that we exchange in the conversation. They will live here so we can go back to them and you can obviously pin individual messages as you see fit. But the Synology chat system, and I've already mentioned it, it's still something unseen on other NAS providers and it's almost worth the entire NAS interface to keep, uh, if you want a NAS that not only has all your team and work groups files, but also the ability for them to integrate in a better way. Now, once again, I won't show you the mobile application on the screen, unfortunately, but do take my word for it that the mobile application is available and does work very well indeed. All you have to make sure is each individual user has access to the NAS, whether they've got uh, a guest account or you know an account that doesn't have a huge amount of privileges. I've assigned full privileges to all these users for these videos, but nevertheless, it's still a nice application and it's got a lot going for it. And it's something that no other NAS brand gives you. No other NAS brand has an internal chat system set up. And if you are centering your business around a NAS, the idea that you've got a collaborative area that people can share and utilize other um, applications as well, because you can use the other applications within chat and synchronize them together. So say there's a file that you need to open, you send the file over, dry, um, over the chat uh, system, and then the chat system will open it via Synology's own Office application, within the email application for deadlines, or if you're sending um, emails to be sent, obviously the moment application we've discussed before, and of course the calendar. So you can combine what you're doing together, which is better for your business, and of course collaboration. Okay, so we'll be moving on to another video. The next video, I'm going to be talking about Synology Drive, and then after that, moments. So I'll see you there, but thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching down there. Click those videos, it's fantastic. Ooh. Whoa.